just one month ago, Senate Republicans announced our support for Governor McCrory's goal to raise teacher pay to $50,000 on average in North Carolina. We're proud to announce uh, today we've arrived at a plan that not only meets his goal, but exceeds that goal by almost $5,000. Under this plan, North Carolina teachers will see their average pay surge to nearly $55,000 for the first time in state history. This means average teacher pay will be up almost $10,000, more than 20% since the 2013-2014 school year. Over the next two years, the plan will dramatically increase average teacher pay from $47,783 to $54,224, providing North Carolina public school teachers an average $4,700 permanent pay raise over that two-year period. And remember, this is on top of the teacher pay raises that we passed in the 2014 and the 2015 budgets. According to the most current NEA data, North Carolina will climb 23 spots to 24th in the nation and to number one in the southeast. Raising average teacher pay by almost $10,000, again over 20% since 2013-2014, will make North Carolina the Southeast leader in teacher pay and encourage the best and the brightest in the teaching profession to make a long-term commitment to our students and to our state. As you know, we've been working for years to restructure the archaic step system put in place by the Democrats that required teachers to spend more than 30 years in the classroom before reaching the top of their profession as far as the pay, pay scale is concerned. Under this new proposal, teachers will reach the top of the scale after just 15 years in the classroom, giving them an immediate significant boost in their base pay along with far greater earnings potential over the course of their careers. Expert research like that conducted by Dr. Jacob Victor former director of the Ph.D. program in public policy at Duke University, shows this plan, proposed by Senate Republicans, brings teacher compensation in line with how most other professionals are compensated. This proposal will add $538 million to base teacher pay over the next two years, in addition to providing step increases to eligible teachers on the, on this, on the pay scale and it will be funded with recurring revenue sources without a tax increase. In summary, these are some important data points. First, after the second year, the new average teacher salary in North Carolina will be $54,224. Since 2013-2014, the average teacher has seen a raise, will have seen a raise of $9,234 annually. This plan puts us uh, projected to be number one in the southeast in average teacher pay in the rankings. This plan puts us to be 24th in the nation, nation in, uh, in average teacher pay. Fifteen years will be the number of years for a beginning teacher to reach the top of their profession as far as their pay scale is concerned. And 33 years is the number of years that the Democrats had in place for teachers to reach the top of their profession. This is one of the more significant numbers. Over the course of their career, again, if everything else remains stagnant, teachers will uh, receive almost $200,000 in additional pay over the course of their career under this plan. i more than happy to take these questions. Any questions? How far? Yeah. Yeah. This teacher pay thing always, if I think about it too hard, it gets very hard to understand. Will teachers tap out earlier in their career to reaching the maximum they can make, or do you see 30-year vets getting an accelerated boost above what they're making right now towards, say, $60,000 a year? I mean, you said top of the scale earlier in the career. What, what this plan does is it, um, it, it, it changes, continues the changes we've been making in the pay structure. Uh, in 2011, when, uh, when we uh, gained majorities in the General Assembly, uh, the pay structure was such that it took a teacher 33 years to go from beginning pay to top pay. What we're doing is, uh, is we're making that trip a much shorter trip for career teachers. Gary. I'm going to try to be flipping here. How, how do you pay for it because you're not paying for ta no tax increase, recurring revenues, uh, where do you cut? Or uh, what do you do to get there? 
Well, uh, in case you haven't noticed, over the past couple of years, what has happened is uh, revenue to the state has actually increased uh, as opposed to decreasing. Uh, that is a result of, uh, of, the, uh, of the, the tax modifications we've made. I'm sorry that Senator Rucho is not here because he can explain how we're paying for it. Uh, uh, <laughs> but the truth is, uh, the state budget is in better shape than it's been in a very long period of time. Uh, our recurring revenues are, are strong. Uh, our economy is, uh, is strengthening. Uh, the, uh, the, the tax reform proposals uh, that uh, have been implemented uh, have resulted in, uh, in growth in state revenues, and uh, the, the money is there on a recurring basis. Once you see the full budget, you'll be able to see the details. Following up on, on Gary's question, and maybe you're not ready to answer this yet, but state employees and, and retirees, are they getting less in your budget than they do in the House budget to, to help pay for this? We're talking today about what our proposal is for teachers. Uh, the remaining salary packages uh, will, uh, will come out as we're doing the budget, uh, so we're, we're not prepared to discuss that at this point. Is this across the board or merit or some combination? Uh, it's a modification in the pay schedule. What you can do, uh, you can go to the website, uh, uh, ncteacherraise.com, has all the details uh, of, uh, of uh, the amount teachers uh, would be, uh, be paid uh, based on the, uh, the new scale. Uh, again, ncteacherraise.com. The proposals that are out there currently related to tax reform, increasing the standard deduction, I know you're working with the House on, on ultimately coming up with the final answer on where that would be. Could you talk a little bit about how that's tied in with these raises? Would, would that impact how much money would be available for these raises? Uh, again, the uh, modifications that, uh, again, uh, a unanimous vote in the Senate for the, uh, the Senate uh, tax plan uh, yesterday that uh, raises the uh, zero bracket or standard deduction for married filing jointly to $17,500 over two years. Uh, that fits in with, uh, with this plan. Uh, again, uh, it's, it's hard to, uh, hard to uh, have a full understanding talking about it uh, in, in bits and pieces, but once you see the full budget, you'll see uh, how that fits together. So, one ministerial question, when are we going to see the full budget so that we can fit all those bits and pieces okay. together? I think next week we'll be, um, be voting on the, uh, on the budget. Right. So, Tuesday for your appropriations process and later on... We should have the appropriations meetings uh, Wednesday, Wednesday uh, but the budget will come out uh, sometime Tuesday. Okay. Um, if I can follow up on that, your friends in the House and the Governor both made their runs at doing teacher raises and said, hey, we're limited by what we see as the revenue projections. Are you guys just better at math, or are you taking money from somewhere else in order to drive the raises higher? Uh, we, we have, uh, as the, uh, the governor and uh, the House, uh, prioritized uh, raising uh, teacher pay. Uh, we have, uh, and, and you will see as you see the budget, uh, been able to, uh, to, to make these numbers work within the confines of, uh, uh, of the uh, agreed budget cap that we had uh, as far as the, what the budget would, uh, would spend and uh, the same revenue numbers. We're, we're, not, uh, we're not changing those numbers. Will we see a significant reduction in teaching assistants or uh, any other uh, uh, Dramatic cuts in other parts of the budget to fund the raises. I, I don't think uh, there's nothing, the, 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 no, nothing with teacher assistance uh, in in this to uh, to deal with um, with this part of it. Uh, I, I don't see any modification, significant modification, as far as TAs uh, in the uh, budget as it comes out. I'm looking at your website. I'm not seeing the answer to the question on merit. So the website works. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had to Again, uh, ncteacherraise.com. <laughs> right. But merit versus across the board? Pardon? Merit raises versus across the board or both? No, these, these are modifications uh, to the pay scale. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for instance, uh, a 14-year teacher will see a $9,000 uh, increase over the two-year period. A 19-year uh, teacher We'll see an increase of about sixty-five hundred dollars. Uh, uh, so it's not—it's not across the board. In other words, you couldn't take your current salary and take three percent or two percent or whatever the number is and figure it out. It's—it's it's based on modifications to the uh, to the pay structure itself. And it's not merit-based. Uh, it, this part is not merit-based. But uh, remember, uh, we we have talked about 
uh, fixing uh, and modifying the, uh, the base pay structure so that we then have the capacity to do some, uh, some merit-based things, and I think you'll see some of that in the budget when it comes out as well. Mm -hmm. Would the paycheck be reflective after the ones coming after July 1st, I presume? Yeah, be effective with the new fiscal yeah, okay. year. Yes. Uh, but it's a two-year, I mean, it's, it's different in the first year than the second year. I think we get to 51 something in the first year and then 54 uh, plus in the second year. Oh, two more questions. I guess um, philosophically and politically, since you're not going to say where the money's coming from to pay for teachers, why is that your top, seemingly top priority? Um, well, it's a high priority. It, it has been for, uh, for for a number of years now. Uh, obviously, we had to uh, we had to fix the mess we had as far as the budget itself is concerned, and make sure that we had had a balanced budget. Uh, we needed to do something with uh, with our our tax uh, uh, situation in order to make sure our revenues were uh, were more stable. And uh, the, uh, the the teacher um, uh, teacher compensation uh, has been a top priority from day one. Uh, it's just that we now, as a result of uh, the other things that we've done, which we've said all along, have the capacity to do this, which uh, I, I, I quite frankly I think is something special as far as, as far as teacher compensation is concerned. One more question. So I've seen this movie before. You all run out. I've read your review. You want to review? <laughs> Y'all run out here with a big teacher pay raise thing. Somebody comes, the budget comes out a week later. Somebody howls, you're taking money from this, and, and we never, this, this never goes into law. You know, it's some compromise with your friends across the, on the other side of the building. Um, why should we think this is any different? I mean, why should we go out and write a bunch of stories today that says the plans to raise teacher pay the $55,000 when we know that's probably not going to come about based on increased performance? Go to ncteacherraise.com. Listen, Mark, uh, the, you know the process, and, uh, and, and the process is that, uh, that we put forward uh, where our priorities are and what we think is, uh, is the way the budget should be, uh, should be structured. Uh, we think that uh, this is the right plan uh, for teachers in North Carolina at this time. Uh, we think that uh, this is something that is fully within the, uh, the capacity of the state of North Carolina in terms of uh, the budget availability, and, uh, and we think it sets the right priorities. Uh, obviously, we will uh, deal with uh, any, uh, any modifications that are suggested by the, uh, by the other side. Uh, and, uh, and and we'll work towards, uh, towards towards getting the budget and having it taken care of uh, before the end of June. Uh, but um, we we are committed to do everything we can uh, to uh, to see this plan adopted. It's the right thing to do.